you can see what I see, cause I'm me, cause I'm me, you can see. Ooh, what's going on, people? It's your boy Lil Bob. I'm back in the building, man. Yes, I see what time it is, man. I got another reaction for y'all today, man. And uh, yeah, man, this is a, um, not a request or anything like that, but uh, shout out to that boy, UK Drill Mile again, man. Go ahead and get that man to 5K. That helped me out to get me to 5K, man. Y'all make sure I share this video, bro. And uh, follow my Instagram, really about underscore. Y'all can also go check out my new track that I just dropped, man. That shit called Right Past You. Got a visualizer for it, so y'all can go check it out, definitely, bro. Um, I'll probably put it in the description. Like, y'all just go to my page, bro. Go to my main page, click on main page. Right here, man, we got UK Drill, Origins of Beef, Tottenham. Now, I said this shit last time, bro. Y'all was going in on my ass about this name, bro. Tottenham, Tottenham. I think I said Tottenham last time. <laughs> Tottenham, episode two, man. I think I did part one. I don't know if it was on, on Miles' page. I don't know where the hell I seen it, bro. But I, it, it may have been Miles' page. I, I, don't, I don't know, bro. I'd be doing so many, bro. Trying to get information, bro. But uh, let's get into this, bro. Part two, Tottenham. Beef is on the kids. Got thrown on the step for the block, but they wanna hard and fits. My mom had skills in my wardrobe. I told her this is the way I live. We ride a snitch, talk on the guys, their lives at risk. I can see my. In this video, I will show you all the events of beef. Beefs that have developed to open, develop Tottenham gang violence into what it is today. So, where it started. What it is today. It's like Kojo, but of a rap of the life I live. We take off strips, swerve and sketch on the take off wigs. More time be stuck on the strip. It's hot and sell on the sit, just pass, but I still gotta have it on hit. The judge might give me six, but I'd rather just take that. Remember, put down your phone and go back for your friend cards. In the back of this school, no, you do beauty, it's what you like me. The first game in Tottenham, Tottenham was the front line of founded in 1970 by the West Indie residents of the Broadwater Farm State. Okay. 1970. Them boys go back. They go way back, bro. I wonder if there's another gang out there that started out like in the 60s or 50s or some shit and it's still going on, bro. This shit does not stop. Plays that movie, Lucy, don't be picky and choosy. I'm on the old block, you know, that is me. And the boy, a funny man, I got jokes like Scooby. They heard them Eshley and all the boys want to do. And I'm in a band over this. The Frontliners originally didn't have intentions of sparking a gang war in Tottenham. They did. They didn't have intentions of the gang war, sparking the gang war in Tottenham. They did. It was just founded as a group of friends trying to set up drug operations throughout London. You can't do no drugs, bro, without niggas dying and shit, because niggas are always gonna try to take your position. He's gonna try to knock you off the block, all kind of shit. By nineteen ninety, the frontliners were now known as TMD, Tottenham Mandan and were the biggest gang in North London. They ran the whole whole of Tottenham, includes South Tottenham, in 15. I sat up in my cell thinking this ain't really life. I waited for my time, I was stressed most days. I prayed when I should, I kept that brave face. That prayer kept me strong, that soul did my... But the most notable member was Mark Lambie. They described him as the devil. Same as this nigga Young did, they described him as a devil. But he was getting people to do shit for him. OB, OB man, and Prince of Darkness. So these are the names they give him. The devil, OB, Obey, OB man, and the Prince of Darkness. to him he first gained his reputation when he arrested he was arrested for the murder of officer Keith Black Lock Blake Lock who was found with a cinch, six inch knife in his neck during the broad water farm riots that don't mean that this man did it with the fuck See when I leave I stay up on the streets man I stay up on the head I stay chasing money for this money comes a Niggas know I'm on the 
Mark. Stay up on the money till the money comes again. Mark Lambie was then released for the murder in 1991. So he was there for a year? A year after this, okay. That's crazy, so they just, like, he did it. Because I ain't see you say it on my on here, Miles, that he did it. So it's like, they just accused the nigga of doing this shit. After being released from prison, Mark then set up gangs and alliances all over London. So now he come out, he mad. He's setting up gangs and alliances all over London. Mark was later arrested in connections to a shooting. He was sentenced to three years in prison, but the sentence was later reduced to only one. Niggas always cutting shit in half, bro. After being released from prison again, Mark got into a feud with Jerome Maddox, which caused Mark Lambie and other Team D members to shoot up Jerome's house. So this nigga got locked up with being released from prison again. So he got locked up twice so far. He got out. Then they tell him, oh, you're doing three, five years. He's going to do half of it. He did one. Okay, Mark got on into a feud with Jerome Maddox. Jerome Maddox, who got Which caused Mark Lambie and other TMD members to shoot up Jerome's house. Thank you, Jerome. I'm coughing at six and all. About to be shown as I'm caught like Abbey. Then fly back to the Esme OJ and rub that pack. Out of fear, Jerome fled to Jamaica to hide from TND, but a year later they eventually found Jerome and brutally executed. This nigga went off to Jamaica. Say, wait a minute, y'all, these niggas literally went to Jamaica? Because if he was fled to Jamaica and was hiding, or he ended up coming back. Which one? That's not a skid and swerve for the length of my mash that work. Man pull up on ox and they're looking like fox. Got bare boofins running skirts. He got shift and he got judged. Well, now we ain't good and tunneled. Mark continued with his devilish acts and was finally arrested in 2002 with the Edmonton boss for kidnap and torture. And that's where the story of Mark Lambs ends. That nigga just kept getting chances after chances getting out. He's still doing hot shit, bro. She sleep and TMD were cool with a lot of gangs at this point in 1997. Okay, we did the 1997, including the Hackney Boys from Hackney in East London. Mm. Bro, you going all the way back? I must say 1990. Bro, Mal, how old are you, bro? Like, you, you got all the information. You going way back in time, bro. With no teeth, off the line, you could tell when I'm coming. And I just want to see the ski. I don't know nothing about love. I don't know how it's done with me. TMD and the Hackney Boys would sometimes rob drug dealers with each other. But this all changed when TMD switched up on the Hackney Boys. TMD went to Hackney to rob the Hackney boys for their goods, no, for their food. <laughs> this resulted in popcorn from TMD stabbing a Hackney boy member. Sixteen Hackney Boy members armed with sticks and bats, they ready for retaliation. And gun and a gun then went to Tottenham to get revenge for the for their member who was stabbed by popcorn well, do you know it? They found popcorn himself and chased him down to the state. He banged a door and begged for help, but no one helped.
Yeah, you better fight back. You ain't getting up in them people's house. Nigga, imagine a nigga knocking on your door. He got like a hundred niggas chasing him, bro. You gonna open your door? Yes or no? Them pants can't serve them things Splash in the head, how you thinking again? Why that dream, why you think you're blim? Blacks and spews and he loves that bread Yeah, I'm his niece and he loves him a ten Man go for me, two on the ten He climbed on top of a block and ran to the other end only to be caught and nigga, you can't this my, he must can't run or some shit I be climbing trees, climbing houses I ain't climbing no tree, nigga then you can't go in there for sure only to be caught beaten with weapons, kicked and shot, and the grown killing him. What's the whole? If y'all gonna kill this nigga, bro, like, what's the whole point of stabbing this nigga and kicking him and shit? Like, just go ahead and handle this shit. Man, I want more, so I flip that again. Three months, bro, got nothing again. Saw that man, they was chicken again. Had to set off the notorious war between Hackney and to Tottenham and would go down in history. Yeah, that was some wild shit. Imagine seeing that shit on film, bro. They need to make it like a documentary or like a film for this. We have been dead every month and every year still running shit and I ain't talking about the dairy yet. After Popcorn was killed, another TMD member, C1, who was present with Popcorn at that time and snitched on seven Hackney boy members. Then <laughs> he got a snitch in the team. Four of them were sentenced to four years, two of them were sentenced to sentenced to six, and C1 made a deal with the seven defendant who would go on to be the case. Back and forth shootings and killings took place for years with bodies dropping from both sides every very frequent. Um, damn, I'm trying to figure out like when is this going to end? This is not going to stop. It's just going to be a cycle. Who the empire going to get my money large? For my brother Yinks, I'm a brother large. The beef died down years later around 2002, 2003, and with Mark Lambie being sentenced to 12 years for kidnapping. And torture team D were left without a boss. He still gonna make moves, nigga gonna make calls, make moves. That shit ain't gonna stop, bro. Nigga think that you locked up. There's so much shit nigga be doing in jail, bro. Nigga be having phones, iPhones, laptops, TVs. The boss still got connects, bro. Mark Dugan stuck in your ass cheeks, my nigga. Mark Dugan, Duggan, Mark Duggan, Dark Duggan, and his associates took over his place and led Broadwater for about a year. I'm more time I'm chilling in them busy blocks No belly on my head, you know I got a city top I've a bro, I crash poor man, that's no doubt Come round here, get smoke like cloud And these man just scream, yeah they so shout Come round, they get back for the next thing I'll back up his bread in his man I don't really care, man, I'll shine up him Aye, on Alright, we moved on to episode 3 Go ahead and drop that on the mob We need that ASAP, man Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this video, bro you know, y'all feel like all shit is working. That shit be going on for a long time. It's like that shit definitely go down in history for a video like this to be made. Definitely go down in history. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they don't start back up, man. That's all I'm saying. You know, yeah, man, you have no time for this, man. I'm still on this. You can't see what I see. Cause I'm me. Cause I'm me.